We've unlocked a new type of light, right? In some sense, right? right? We've unlocked a new type of imaging, right? No, no, exactly. We we. What's so interesting about this? I mean the the nat the natsec implications got my my gear story. I mean, yeah, new laser plasma device, and so. The headline on this story is directional muon beam shows potential for advanced imaging technique. Uh, researchers at ATAP have developed a compact source of high energy collimated muons using a laser plasma accelerator, potentially enabling advanced imaging technologies. This is out of Lawrence Berkeley National Lab and was published in the Physical Review, Accelerators and Beams. So what is the top line on, on this paper? Yeah, the basic idea is in order to make muons, usually you need like extremely large particle accelerators, okay? And this guy, these guys are have done it in effectively the size of like a lab, maybe a big lab, a big lab. but it's still not like, you know, the size of CERN or right. like Slack where it's like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of meters worth of stuff to create a muon beam. And that becomes really, really relevant if you're trying to use muons to do cat scans something i thought you would like yeah so this the speed of the this muon tomography would be such that now we can scan cargo at the ports without opening the box mm -hmm. right because you can't do that with x-rays the the metal is too thick mm -hmm. right but you could just stick a muon thing and then it's gonna so routine inspection of these shipping containers can happen minutes now you don't, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. so then you don't have to trust the shipping manifest. You can literally be like, okay, is there something there? I, if there's any nuclear spungling that's going on, nuclear waste and nuclear like rods and things like that are very dense. Right. They're going to interact with muons in very weird ways because that's just nuclear physics. Right. So now all of a sudden you can have like safeguards and waste management, things like that. Um, the other thing that was so cool was uh, you could take these muon beams to bridges and dams and buildings and they could reveal hidden cracks water infiltration yeah, 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 yeah. catastrophic catastrophic failure it becomes very difficult to basically smuggle a dirty bomb anywhere mm -hmm. yeah um particularly you can put these on any number of source platforms yeah but the civil engineering one i think is so particularly for where you know this is true globally but especially in the u.s where we have now legacy infrastructure that is beginning to you know, I mean, the 405 has been shut down to one lane yeah. multiple weeks in a row. Yeah, that's been point. the bane of my existence, dude. And, like, deciding how, like, what uh, civil engineering projects are most pressing mm -hmm. by having an actual data set yeah. that is not necessarily just time or, you know, citizen complaints, yeah. but has, like, a data set. And, 